Hey, what is up guys? Bush Rose here with another Bushcraft video. Today, as you can see, it is snowing like crazy. Um, and we're going to be heading out to the most haunted place in Minnesota. And it's going to be pretty exciting. We plan to do some Bushcraft activities while we're out there and just kind of explore it. But supposedly it's the number one most haunted spot in Minnesota. So maybe we'll see some ghosts. Anyway, stick with us and we'll see you soon. Well guys, as we've been walking here, we found some sand reed grass. This will be really nice stuff for tinder to start a fire. So guys, we've been walking for about an hour and a half now. Um, we've walked around just trying to find a good spot to set up camp for the night. It's, it's noon uh, and we found a good spot finally. So these three trees are in a perfect area to make our shelter right here and Hugh's shelter right here with the fire in the middle. We'll all sit here, have our steaks for tonight. It'll be great. That's like a vine. <laughs> oh! You're good, you're good. Hold oh. on, hold on. <laughs> Give you guys a perspective on how high our rope swing is. <laughs> Holy boss. It's literally through the top of the tree. It's still going up there. That's like a hundred feet. That's crazy.
Well guys, you saw us collect this grass earlier and we're gonna use it for fire starters now, so. Get all of it, put it up, put it up. Tilt your hand up, tilt it up. These are our steaks that we're going to be eating tonight. We have some uh, fillets and just a stirloin steak. So guys, while I was collecting dead wood for the fire, I came across this uh, Native American burial here. It, we knew that this Are is kind of the creepy part of the island is that there were Native Americans buried here. Uh, it's the biggest Native American burial in the world, or in Minnesota. But this is kind of obvious here. We're, we're only like 20 feet away from our camp. But like they were buried here and they probably like um, dug dirt from right here because it's it's really low right there. It's sort of hard. It's really hard to see all this, but it's a little creepy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's really close to us. That's definitely what it is. So, all right. So for dinner tonight, we of course have our steaks here. We have three of them, and then we also have a can of beans and a can of Dante Moore soup. Um, it's basically just beef stew. That's what we're gonna be eating tonight. guys so I forgot my spoon and we're cooking beans and soup and you know it'd be pretty nice to have a spoon that's why I'm gonna make mine out of this piece of wood we'll just do half of it for now save the other half for later Alrighty guys, so I just finished whittling my spoon. Um, it's got a little curvature to it, so it, hopefully it'll hold the beans a little bit better. I don't think I'm gonna do a little, cur carve it out in the middle, just cause I think this is all we really need. The soup is pretty thick, so it's not like liquidy or anything. Anyways, let's give this thing a go. That is. Alrighty guys, the denties are done. The spoon probably isn't as good as your average, you know, kitchen spoon, but. It gets the job done. That's pretty good. Um, now it's time to open up the steaks and get them on the grill. I'm basically just gonna <laughs> um, you didn't this through, did you? I didn't. I'm just going to 
They've been thawing for like two hours now. So. Yeah. There Still pretty frozen in the middle of the hump. No, we got these two. Oh my god. <laughs> So we've got one here. That's a big hunk of steak, dude. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cook easily. Yeah, it is. Well, this is, that thing's looking good. That's how Mason did it right there. You can see his two pieces of steak down to the ground, about a foot off the fire. The fire is really smoky. This is how you grill in the bush. <laughs> Woo! Oh, baby. Oh, looks nice though. Yeah. It's starting to fall apart too, so that's good. It's getting cooked. Well, guys, steaks are still on the fire. Mine weren't cooking so great on the steaks, so I moved them to the grill. But they are looking nice here. But we're worried that they're still a little frozen on the inside, but. They're almost ready to eat. A little test on the steaks here. They are super juicy. Can't really tell if they're oh. like the points. They're just like sticky. They actually look pretty nice. They look pretty nice. Slow cooked. QB's uh, fell on the fire. But it's all good. Got a lot of soot on it, but that's all right. I'm gonna shift my steaks over there to the hotter plate. We're kind of slow roasting mine right now, but they're kind of unthawed and we gotta, you know, move them over Boil here. Them. Sprinkler. Other side, other side. Let's go. Don't get it all in one place. Okay, ready? Is that, that's mine. That's not. Here, try, try it. That's not. Yeah. QB. Oh, that's amazing. That is so good. Mm. Is it good, Mace? Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. We had a great time, hope you guys did too. Um, it's a great meal, great bushcraft camp, great adventure, so stay tuned for our next video.